I would actually like to start to show you a picture which actually scares me. Uh, this picture shows the global water scarcity, and clearly we face a global water catastrophe. Water scarcity and flooding will affect our society in the future to a very high extent. To Aquarober, this means a great business opportunity. My name is Niklas, I'm the CEO of Aquarober, and we help water utilities to find leaks and to monitor their water pipelines. Our customers, the public water utilities, serve cities with water and wastewater treatment. Let me now tell you about their water distribution network, because it leaks about 25%, and solely in Europe, it stretches 1,500 turns around the globe. So it really is like finding a needle in a haystack. Uh, there are also increasing problems when it comes to flooding, which needs to be addressed. According to Global Water Intelligence, the market for measurement and data collection in the water sector is uh, 23 billion US dollar yearly. So there is uh, a need to uh, work with these, these issues. So are there reasons to digitalize the water sector even more? Yes, of course. Uh, this is a so-called access point to the public water pipeline, and Aquarober here presents the next generation of IoT platform to monitor the pipelines. It comes with a built-in energy harvester, which is powered by the kinetic energy of the water flow. It has built-in sensors and state-of-the-art wireless communication. Uh, this solution means that the water utilities can transmit data more often and from more places. Today, they often rely on uh, having long cables to these access points, uh, which means that it's very costly. Uh, we have now started to roll out this technology to paying uh, pilot customers, and Simon at NSVA is one of them. Our go-to-market strategy is about targeting uh, system integrators, uh, which we sort of uh, provide the data from our cloud server to. Uh, Initially, we also target the water utilities directly in order to develop the system in a good way. And we charge about 2,000 euros for the hardware and 30 euros a month in device for the software. The next step for us is to commercialize this technology in Europe and to build a scalable platform for the software and digital part of the value chain. Uh, and we are now looking to fund this next value adding step with 620,000 euro. Thank you all for listening. Thank you. Very interesting. So, uh, how many sensors would you need to get uh, to get any sensible data out? Like so their pipe system. So, yeah. a normal sized city would typically need uh, between 500,000 of these. How do you put them in place? So we have different uh, methods for installing these in a very, very easy way. So you simply drill a small hole into the pipeline and then you uh, screw it in there. Okay. What's the uh, competitive landscape like? Well, who do you compete with? So uh, the biggest competition comes from uh, hardwired solutions. So. Uh, solutions where you have to dig cables uh, very long distances to get uh, both data and electricity to and from these access points. Uh, there are some uh, other companies working with battery operated uh, solutions for data transmission, but that means that you have to replace batteries uh, very often. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much.